Political ads are everywhere these days, with California's June election now less than six weeks away. But now one ad in the governor's primary race has stirred up some controversy because of what it does not say. Our Conan Nolan live in the control room right now with more on the controversy for us. Conan. Well, maybe you saw it on Channel 4 on Sunday. There was a candidate talking to voters, knocking every question out of the ballpark. It was a media consultant's dream. Former eBay CEO and Republican candidate for governor Meg Whitman, seen here at a town hall meeting in Orange County last month. Former Los Angeles newsman Rick Chambers moderates. We have a lot of tough questions for you to answer tonight, so let's get right to it. Take it away. Thank you very much. Rick. The questions deal with jobs, education, government regulation, and seem far from tough. Applause are long and frequent. We have got to stop doing things that makes it easier to do business in neighboring states. It's not so much of a town hall meeting as it is a commercial, an infomercial, in fact, one that is now playing on television stations around the state, and one that Whitman's chief rival, Steve Poisner, has taken issue with. In his own web ad, pointing out that some of the questioners were already affiliated with the Whitman campaign. A Poisoner campaign operative even got this clandestine video of a comment made by the candidate before the taping. Um, you're an integral part of this. Lots of cheering would be good. Uh, infomercials are for steak knives. They're not for serious gubernatorial candidates. The town hall is clearly labeled a campaign commercial. Even the moderator pitches the campaign website throughout the program. Whitman campaign consultant Mike Murphy says the questions were legit. It was real voters asking real questions, he told Channel 4 News. Nobody was scripted, but we did focus on Republican voters. Poisoner is mad he didn't think of this, Murphy says. The only infomercial Steve Poisoner will end up in is one for Jerry Brown. In fact, in talking to political experts, most didn't have a problem with it as long as this was labeled a commercial. And in fact, they point out that Dwight Eisenhower, John F. Kennedy, and Richard Nixon sort of did the same thing, used the same kind of vehicle with planted questions with citizens. They believe this is a new wrinkle on an old uh, manipulative uh, trick by some political consultants, uh, ShamWow style. Conan Nolan reporting live back to you.